All right, it's time to create with Quimby. Now, we have a solution to that dangerous balancing act that uh, I know, at least I play. You, know, yeah. you, put, the, you put the mug on, on the arm of the couch or uh -huh. the chair, uh -huh. and it's, it's a little terrifying, but you're like, that's my only option, so I'm going to roll with this. I feel like Shannon has been watching me at home during, during my, <laughs> during my Netflix binges. Problem? How does she know I do this all the time? Yeah, so if you are one of those people, like Travis and I, who use the arm of your sofa for some very precarious things, coffee, wine, all sorts of liquids that could spill, even food or the remote. Uh, worry no more. We've got the armrest that will hopefully help alleviate your Solve problems. Some problems. Yes. So joining us live to show us how it's made is our DIY extraordinaire, Shannon Quimby. Good morning. Good morning. Mm. <laughs> oh, there you go. Just enjoying your nice coffee. And can safely yeah. put it down. All the way from my living room. Uh-huh. <laughs> Safe and sound, nice and sturdy there. No, I love this idea because I do. I have a couch with the arm that is like just wide enough mm -hmm. that I think I can put stuff there. And I'm, I'm playing with fire, Shannon. I really shouldn't. <laughs> well, mine's really skinny. My armrest is literally like two and a half inches wide, so you can't put anything on that. Yeah. And so, right? So this is such an easy solution to that. And all you need is literally one board. And it's the size, what you want to do is you want to get a, a one by six board and you want to cut it 12 inches long. <coughs> now, I'm not going to tell you the, the width because every chair or couch arm, you know, is always different. But yeah, but the solution is to, when you want to measure the width, basic, basically the flat surface top, just add two and a quarter inches wider, okay? okay. Because is the sides of the board and then also i'm just saying add the quarter inch because you want to get it a little snug oh, yeah. okay yeah. so the last thing you want to do is you want to build this and it's all floppy right That's a good point that That's would point. that would cause new problems <laughs> <laughs> yeah so a one by six you just basically you can miter side and go down to you know give a holler to kent that i always see down at uh par lumber on mlk and I'm, I like to I like to do the 12 inches in the length. It's kind of a nice sturdy because you put your cup, you can put your remote control, you know, kind of double duty. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So cut it 12 inches. Now mine, like I said, is um, thinner. And so I made that cut and I'll show it right here. See, a little bit thinner on that, on the side. Yeah. Okay. okay. Easy. So now you don't have to hammer these together. You can glue it, but I do recommend maybe putting a couple nails into it. And so you want to create um, six dots um, because if you're blind like me, you need to know where you're hammering. Okay. <laughs> yes. So you want to get some wood glue and um, on the top of uh, one edge on one side, you just glue it. And you guys, this project is so easy. When I posted this on Facebook, I had, I had comments like brilliant. Oh, make me one. And I'm thinking, guys, you can do this. this <laughs> yeah. So line it up uh, the top board. This is the top skinnier one that I mentioned. Uh -huh. And you put it on the top, line it up. And oh, I almost forgot. It'd probably make it a little bit easier on yourself. You want to pre drill. So okay. you want to pre drill the holes right before you hammer it in. Okay. Gotcha. gotcha. No. If you're um, golden like some of my really fun, uh, good DIYers like Jenny Hansen, she would probably clamp this together, you know? Oh yeah, and she'd get the whole workbench out. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah, I, I do it on my living room coffee table. That's my workshop. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Mm -hmm, that's my level. Nothing wrong, yeah. So then you hammer it together like so, and that's gonna secure the pieces together, okay? Okay. So you're literally creating this one, two, three pieces that is it and i'll set this aside and it sh basically turns out like a u mm -hmm. okay so easy there three you pieces. go yeah now once this is the once again about the great thing about diy you can custom color or stain it to your decor my dresser right next to here is this beautiful lemon color and so i had leftover paint i thought well i guess i'll just match it and so I took the color that I already had and I'm just, you just paint um, over the whole thing. Okay. Oh, also I missed this step. Better sand. So after you cut some of the edges on the wood might be a little rough. Mm. You definitely want to sand it because you don't want, you know, if you've got uh, your fabric or your leather, 
That's right. the last thing you want to do. You don't want to yeah. see tearing through yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. That's DIY gone wrong. Yeah. Not <laughs> a good idea. Mm -hmm. So you guys, I mean, really easy, really simple. You want to paint the whole um, top, the sides and inside. You want to get inside also because that also then, um, secures it a little bit it's kind of hard to see on you know, yeah well and if you're though. using a fresh piece of wood like this that you've just cut you don't even need to do a primer or anything you could just give it a couple coats and call it good that's yeah that's a that's my diy right there oh yeah right? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, yeah yeah and i you know and also it's easy you guys and it just takes i mean the whole project takes longer to dry than make well, there you go. That's a, that's a good good way to show you that it's actually as simple as Shannon says it is. If, if it takes for, longer to dry, like, and then voila, an afternoon, and, and, and then voila. you have and you have your armrest and your and your you still you still have room for the armrest as well as to play coaster. Then, well, then you with, can sit back with your with your glass of exactly, coffee or your wine exactly. and uh, and admire your handiwork. Oh, oh uh, Shannon, it's always great to see you. Yes, go you ahead. too, guys. Oh, I was just gonna say, and you can make two because you got two armrests. This there is true, go. too. That's there true, too. The fun never stops. All right, Shannon, great to see you. Always useful stuff. Um, and they, they really are always simple ideas, but this one is one of the simplest in the best way. So uh, always appreciate the time. We'll talk to you soon. All right, see ya. All right, Enjoy bye. And for the list of materials and instructions that you need for that project, we are going to post it on coin.com. Very cool. Very